Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a real people person. Well, that's a lie. I can't stand them. I can't stand people. You know, we always say keep our circle small. Well, mine's so small, I almost got kicked out a few times. <laughs> now, uh, after talking to the MC, you know, I got kind of got the speech like uh, Kim K, Halle Berry, or J Lo would give to their husband. You only got five minutes. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know, people in this world, they don't know how to conversate. They don't know how to get along because they don't know when to pull the plug on the conversation. I'm going to give you a few <laughs> key words that you miss. If somebody asks you a question and then their response is, so basically, you know, this one is amazing because they're letting you know up front that they are going to deliberately misinterpret your answer. So basically, <laughs> it's time to walk away. <laughs> now, another one. Get another one. When somebody say, what we ain't going to do is, this person is basically telling you how this conversation is going to go. I mean, it's like the boxer standing in the ring between the boxes. I want this to be a clean fight, no hidden below the belt. <laughs> this person is giving you the rules of engagement. So mm -hmm. what we ain't going to do is have this conversation. I just forfeit, I just forfeit the match. <laughs> and, and here's another one for you. If somebody asks you a question, or no, if someone makes a statement, oh. de declarative <laughs> statement, and ended with an interrogatory statement saying, you know that, right? <laughs> it's almost like that saying, if I wanted your opinion, I would have gave you one. So <laughs> this is somebody actually giving it to you. And I tell you what, <laughs> if you, if the situation, the subject don't mean that much to you, just agree, or they will talk to you about it till, till you're blue in the face. They will nag you into submission. So, about you? if you want to that, you just ask yourself. You know that, right? Now, ladies, I'm gonna pick on y'all a little bit because something I realized over the years, I hear a lot of ladies saying, you know, you know, a man can't handle half the stuff he do. And if, if it was done to him and all. Now, lady, I get the point you're making, but let's think about it. You're basically bragging about tolerating crap that he wouldn't tolerate from you. Let that sink in. I mean, <laughs> Lord, after this, is going to be a whole lot of homeless men after this. They're going to be ringing my phone. Can, they, can, can I sleep on your couch, Clinton? <laughs> All jokes aside, put that fool out. Now, something that trips me out too is why do people think they're convincing you when they say I swear on something? I'll give you an example. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, yo, Clint, you got me $40. I'll pay you back on my oh. mind. So, what happened? Poof, mama disappeared. I put that on my daddy. Poof, daddy disappeared again. Or on everything I love. Poof, oh, nobody disappeared because they don't love nobody. <laughs> they never look into your eyes. They never look in your eyeballs when they lie to you. I mean, who are you, the cowardly liar? <laughs> I don't get it. Now, um, Anybody participate in these Facebook challenges? Anything. Go ahead, tell us, tell us. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> now, the ice bucket challenge, that was a cool one. You know, pretty innocent. You know, they get that cold water put on you and everything. I only bathe once a week, so I didn't participate. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but they raised over $150 million for the ALS donation. <laughs> but it gets a little crazy when you talk about this Tide Pod challenge. Now, this one here, this was just plain stupid. This is people actually eating Tide Pods meant to clean your clothes. I, I mean, I guess the safety tab, I thought the safety tab was for little babies and toddlers. It's really for teenagers and college students. I don't understand it. But just because I don't understand it, don't make it wrong. 
Now, but the worst of them is this fire challenge. This is basically some fools putting alcohol or whatever accelerant on themselves. I watch a lot of crime shows, so I found an expert for a day. Yeah, accelerant, alcohol, lighter fluid, who cares? But they put it on themselves and set themselves on fire. That's really stupid. <laughs> now, I, I, I got to cut it short because I got some stuff to do when I leave here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, I need $40. Hey, on my mama, I'll pay you back. <laughs> Yo, man, my cash app is dollar sign man on fire. <laughs> I appreciate y'all time. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs>